Reason has a few monitoring options. And the first thing to look at is in the preferences here. In the audio section, down at the bottom is a monitoring section. And this controls the way that sound is monitored in the software through Reason. Now, you might have an audio interface with direct monitoring on it, which lets you hear the sound that you play directly back through your headphones before it's been sent to the software, and that eliminates latency. Now, you might not have one of those, in which case this is a, a bit more important. Monitoring is also important for hearing sounds through effects. So if you are recording a guitar part with some delay on, for example, you'll need to monitor that through the software so that you can hear the effects going. In the uh, monitoring section, the first option here is automatic. Now, I'm actually going to turn that off because it has a strange effect on my voice. But what that does is every sequencer track, every audio track in the sequencer that is record enabled will automatically have monitoring switched on. And that's uh, useful if you want to get up and running really quickly. Perhaps preferable is the manual button. And that is an option which means you have to turn on monitoring manually for each track. That's probably a fairly safe way to work because that means you won't get any unexpected strange doubling up like we heard just there. The external option is for when you have your Reason system plumbed into an external mixer. And we'll look uh, in the cabling system at why and how you might do that. But essentially, that means you can monitor bypassing Reason's Mixer entirely. Uh, that's not something that a lot of people do, uh, but it is. it has its uses and it is possible. So if I close this, let's just try a guitar signal. Okay. And if I add an effect to this track, let's just say um, guitar amp, why not? Initially, I can't hear that effect because I'm not monitoring the channel. This is what I said just earlier about having to switch monitoring on to hear the effect. But if I do switch monitoring on, you should hear that effect come into effect. So that's why you might want to uh, monitor. Also good for vocals with reverbing, uh, so that people who are singing get a sense of space in their vocal. 